Hey guys, so today we're going to clean my dirty GPU. As in, it's really, really dirty. The dust built up on the sides is unreal. And it's getting to uh, not normal temperatures. Still pretty playable, but not the temperatures I like it to be. So I'm just going to try to give it a clean. Uh, I expect it to be uh, frustrating since this is a GPU with a backplate, but I think it's going to be easy. Just look at that dust. So after that, I remove the plastic GPU, uh, what do you call that, fans. So I can unscrew the back plate using a tiny screwdriver since these are really small. Not even sure if you can see this. So now it's off. I think I really might need to unscrew the RGB also. It's going to return that later. Hopefully, I remember it. So now that this is off, you need to grab also this part. This is for this one. The RGB thing. This is the actual heatsink and the what do you call it the back plate included so i'm going to go in a cr crisscross pattern or what do you like to call it i give them four twists each to make sure the pressure is equal this is going to take a while sort them for one spot so I don't get confused by them so it comes right off so I in this card I didn't have I didn't need to unscrew the back plate since it allowed me to remove the GPU cooler without do, doing that but in some GPUs, you can't access the GPU screws without uh, removing the backplate. So look at that mess. So oh, it's dirty. Going to clean that uh, with a brush. Make sure it's non-static. But first, we need to remove the power plug. Put that on the side. Here is the GPU RGB. I think I don't need to remove that. It's not bothering me. So I'm going to use some um, alcohol with a uh, paper towel to remove that. So after a while of dusting, it ended up like this. It's more cleaner now. Since I can't use water, since it's too risky, since this is an electronic and I need to use it immediately. Just dusted it. Same with this one. It's now looking cleaner. I just can't remove this part since it's, I think it's, uh, it's uh, glued with thermal glue. So I'm not, I'm not gonna bother removing that part since I don't have any thermal glue in me. So I can't replace that, replace it if I do remove it. So the next step is finding a good thermal paste. Since I don't want to reapply and reapply, we're going to use a cryonat. 
I've used this on my CPU and now I'm going to use it on my GPU. I also used this on my old GPU but it got sold since I went for an upgrade since I thought the 1060 isn't, just isn't enough for me. So after a while of dusting, it ended up like this. It's more cleaner now. Since I can't use water, since it's too risky, since this is an electronic and I need to use it immediately. Just dusted it. Same with this one. It's now looking cleaner. I just can't remove this part since it's... I think it's... Uh, it's uh, glued with thermal glue so I'm not, I'm not gonna bother removing that part since I don't have any thermal glue in me so I can't replace that replace it if I do remove it so the next step is finding a good thermal paste since I don't want to reapply and reapply we're going to use a cryo nuts I've used this on my CPU and now I'm going to use it on my GPU I also used this on my old GPU but it got sold since I went for an upgrade since I thought the 1060 isn't, just isn't enough for me. Video editing taking so long and gaming frames are dropping. So we're going to for the cryo nuts. So apply a thermal paste is not that hard. Just need to put up a decent amount. I think too much isn't that bad either. Mm, I think a little more. And I spread it with the plastics or something. Okay, that seems about enough. And now I'm going to find the plastic thing to spread it. So I finally found the plastic thing that can use, be used to spread it. If you're asking, you don't need to spread it, but I really recommend this this uh, this procedure since it's it's not a CPU CPU processor that it will just spread spread evenly when you apply force with the mounting bracket or something like that. I found many guides online recommending that you spread it. And even uh, Therma Grizzly suggests it. So I'm going to use it. And then we're going to place the GPU cooler and align it. Should be aligned. That looks pretty aligned to me. Then we have, we have to screw it. I can't screw it with with me holding the camera so i'm just going to let go for a minute there we go it's plugged in let's just make sure it's plugged in tight okay it's tight so next thing we need to do or the last thing before we're completely finished is using this thing so i don't so i need to not forget to put this back where it came from so you need to put the RGB backwards backwards since it's the GPU is mounted backwards anyway. So if you put it like this, it's going to look backwards when you plug it in. So we have to do it like that. I'm going to let go the camera again for this part since I can't hold this while screwing it in while holding the camera. So I'll be back. So I screw the RGB back in. So I can now show you the other parts. Just gotta place it like that. And align the screw holes on the sides. It's not aligned. Need to adjust it. There we go, it's aligned. Just have to place the screw. 
Ah, uh, shit. I, I'm, I'm losing some. I'm lacking hands. So now we're done. As you can see, it's more cleaner now. And it has better thermal pace. So last time I checked, it reached about 85 degrees. Let's try it now with the same fan curve and fan settings. So to return this, uh, I don't I don't plug it in traditionally since I'm using a vertical GPU mount. I just place it like this and connect that to the GPU. GPU PCIe Express slot. So time for benchmarks. Let's see.